ever multiply by a fraction The number gets smaller, that's no exaggeration So just think when you try and have a go That your art skin was a small part of the whole So multiply the numbers on the top side together Whatever the solution, it becomes the numerator Now multiply the numbers on the bottom side together And the answer that we get is now the new denominator If you ever multiply by a fraction The number gets smaller, that's no exaggeration So just think when you try and have a go That your art skin was a small part of the whole so multiply the numbers on the top side together Whatever the solution, it becomes a numerator Now multiply the numbers on the bottom side together And the answer that we get is now the new denominator So let's take a simple one to start with Here is one third multiplied by one fifth Now if you think about the question we're asking It's like saying, what's the third part of this fifth? So we could try and cut it into three bits Cause it's only gonna be a small part of the fifth But there's a better way, let me remind you what it is Remembering the chorus is the trick to solving this So multiply the numbers on the top side together Whatever the solution, it becomes a numerator And now we know the task that needs to be done We got one times one which is equal to one now multiply the numbers on the bottom side together The answer that we get is now the new denominator So 3 times 5 has become 15 Which means the final answer must be a 15th If you ever multiply by a fraction The number gets smaller, that's no exaggeration So just think when you try and have a go That your art skin was a small part of the whole So multiply the numbers on the top side together Whatever the solution, it becomes the numerator Now multiply the numbers on the bottom side together And the answer that we get is now the new denominator Now for whole numbers with a fraction as well Let's try a third, multiplied by a twelve and if you think you need another way to delve It's like saying what's the third part of the 12 So we could cut it up and see the answers ourselves Plus we know the answer's got to be smaller than 12 It ain't hard to tell But there's a trick to remember If you ever need a fraction put a 1 under the number now Multiply the numbers on the top side together Whatever the solution it becomes a numerator And now I know that you can cater for yourself If it's 1 times 12 it's equal to 12 Now multiply the numbers on the bottom side together The answer that we get is now the new denominator so 3 times 1 becomes 3 before we have 12 over 3 for an answer of 4 If you ever multiply by a fraction The number gets smaller, that's no exaggeration So just think when you try and have a go That your art skin was a small part of the whole So multiply the numbers on the top side together Whatever the solution, it becomes the numerator Now multiply the numbers on the bottom side together And the answer that we get is now the new denominator